hello, third, fourth, and fifth grade. It's good to be here. Welcome to my studio. Woo! You have all received a plastic bag with a bunch of assorted supplies in it. There's gonna be papers and sequins and buttons and more papers. Feel free to find a nice space. Take your bag and spread it out on maybe a table, maybe on the floor, maybe in the bathtub. I poured all of my supplies out on the table. Then I separated my supplies into piles. So the first thing I did was draw some petals. Now, now if you, you know, know how, how to write, write the letter U, U then you, you know, know how to write a petal. petal. Or I guess draw a petal. I don't want you guys thinking you can't do this, because you can. It's super easy. All you have to do is draw a U. Or in my case, I drew an upside down U without the little line on the side. But you get the point. Then I use my scissors to cut out all of these shapes. We are now going to want to cut a circle for the center of our flower. Some of you guys might remember what we do in art class. If we are not confident in our circle drawing abilities, sometimes we use other tools. <gasps> Yay, tools! So this you might recognize. Our tins, oh yeah! We're going to use our tin to draw a circle. So I'm gonna use a black marker to do my outline. And the top of my tin, I'm gonna use this flat surface, my binder. My binder. I'm going to put my paper on top of it, then place my tin, and then I'm gonna use my marker and draw all the way around it. You see how I'm doing this? Now you guys do this, don't do it like this. Do it on the table. That would have been a smarter idea for me, but I was just trying to show you how good of a job this would do. Let's try again. This time, I'm just gonna put it on the table and draw it really quick. Check it out. Ta-da! Pretty sweet, right? You can use your scissors to cut it out. Gotta cut my paper. Yeah! This is way more fun when you guys are here, or I guess when we're at school in the art room, because it just is. I miss you guys. It's way less fun and so awkward just sitting in my studio, talking to myself, essentially. Talking to myself. <sighs> so at this point, I'm now using a glue stick. <laughs> Come on. My hand. <sighs> oh. <laughs> I'm so hard. Oh. Come on. Now it is time to glue all of the petals to the red circle. Hmm, look at this lovely blue paper. So at this point, I've decided that I think my flower needs some more petals. I used the different assortment of papers in my plastic bag and cut out more U-shaped flower petals. So great! The U! Who would have known? It would have been so helpful. You guys are welcome to use other supplies from your home. Maybe you have some glitter. Or maybe some paint. Maybe you have some yarn. Um, 
confetti. Or maybe you have an old CD. <gasps> Check that out. Or maybe you have some colorful tape. Some sparkles. Hey, maybe you wanna cut out a butterfly and put it on your flower. That would be cool. Am I getting some ideas going in those minds? I hope so. Make your flowers your own. They're gonna be awesome. I'm sure of it. My final flower. See that? My name. There it is. You gotta put your name on it. You just gotta. I would like you to know that I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys come up with. Because you guys are a super creative bunch. You know, if these videos haven't inspired you enough, or if you just want to do some extracurricular activities outside, you can go on a flower hunt. Look! We found one! <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed my instructional video on how to make a scrap flower creation. Enjoy creating!